Okay, so here's my little setup. Um, we got the Zikos Macro Extension Tube Set, which I bought um, last year. I really haven't got a chance to really use it as much as I wanted to because I was doing other projects. But nevertheless, I still get around to doing something sometime. So here's one of my lenses that I use, my Nikon 28 to 80. And as you can see on top, it has one of the extension tubes on it, the 20 millimeter, which is like right there, the 20 millimeter. And then this right here is the, let's see, let's see, what's, 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 this is the 12 millimeter. And these are my subjects, a couple of little itty bitty bitty shells. Just to show you how small they are, you can look at it with that right there. The little tweezers or pliers or whatever you want to call them. So those are a couple of shells that I got from the beach. Um, that's one of the big shells. And Here's my camera. Of course, Nikon all the way. I got the Nikon D200. And on the Nikon D200... Up, 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 too much light, too much light. I have the 36 millimeter ring on it. Let's see. Yeah, that's better. The 36 millimeter extension tube, rather. Extension tube. On, uh, uh, connected to a 50 millimeter 1.8 Nikon lens. So that's what I'm going to be taking these pictures with and showing you the results from that so just check it out so the next few shots you're gonna see is this right here um, these tiny little shells inside of a shell and I'm gonna set this up with a couple of other shots close-up shots using the 19 no, actually the 18 to 135 millimeter.